Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. As I mentioned a few videos ago, we're going to be reinstalling Windows, and that's what we're going to be doing today. This video is brought to you by gvgmall.com, by the way. More about them later on in the video, once we actually buy Windows 10 key from their website and uh, talk about the differences between a pirate key as well as a retail key. But with all that said, let's open the PC, sort some files out, download the Windows 10 installation tool, and show you guys how it's all done. Also, uh, there'll be like some, some handy tips, I guess, in this video as well, when it comes to a fresh OS on Windows 10. Uh, just like some handy bit of software. I'll go through like what software I download when I first install Windows and like a handy tool that kind of downloads and installs a lot of the like essential programs that you need for you. All right, so I've opened up the File Explorer. Now, as we're gonna be resetting one of the drives pretty much and kind of resetting Windows, so that'll probably be the, you know, the C disk here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to salvage a lot of the, you know, the files from this drive, put them onto the D drive, then reset the C drive if that makes any sense at all. So we have this whole Adobe Cache and Scratch. We're gonna take that, you know, Control X, Control D, I mean, Control D, Control V, move it from, you know, the C drive to the D drive. By the way, I should probably mention again what drives we're using in this PC and how amazing they are. Uh, if you wanna go watch my full video about them, you can do, press on the card somewhere on the screen now. But uh, the drives we've got on the PC, we have the uh, XPG SX 8200 Pro, the one terabyte drive, as well as the XPG Gamix S11 Pro. Uh, both of them were sent by XPG, uh, so massive shout out to them for hooking me up. Uh, so two terabytes in total of NVMe M.2 storage that is insanely quick and very well priced. So that's the drives we're using in the PC and that's what we're gonna be resetting Windows on and installing Windows on. I feel like after we reinstall Windows, uh, hopefully the issues I've been having on Windows will be resolved. Right, that's all the files moved over to there. Right, Windows 10 old. <laughs> That'll be what that's called. There you go, desktop archive moved over. Let's get documents, all the docs. Damn, five gigs. And we're doing it a wonderful 10 megabytes per second, dude. What the hell? What's going on? Come on, XPG. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh, downloads. Are, oh man, how big is this downloads folder? God. 10 gigs, lovely. What is going on? All right, cool. Music archive, that should be a tiny. There we go, nice, man. Okay, downloads, this is like, what, 10 gigs? There's 26,000 items. What have I been downloading? Well, that's pretty much like all the important bits of data. What I might do as well is so that I don't have to re-download all of my games. Let's go on to program files x86. Let's see how long, 50 gigs, 42,000 files. Ideally, I'm gonna be reinstalling Adobe. Uh, all of their programs. I'm not going to bother copy pasting them over to the new OS as well, there's something seriously wrong with Adobe Premiere on this PC. It might be because of Ryzen kind of hating uh, Adobe Premiere, but almost every single time I'm like, you know, trying to make a video, you know, edit it and stuff on Adobe Premiere, trying to render it, uh, PC kind of tends to blue screen or Adobe Premiere just kind of tends to crash, freeze, and it drives me nuts. So I'm hoping that reinstalling Windows uh, will resolve this issue and I've said this before but uh, we've kind of swapped a lot of hardware around in that PC and I feel like that's maybe why Windows kind of hates us and um, I'm, I'm like I'm guessing the drivers have kind of like you know gone a bit nuts and uh, the PC just is it's not very stable at the moment might be because of like a bad overclock but uh, if reinstalling Windows does not resolve this issue we're gonna kind of you know drop the overclock on the RAM as well as the CPU ever so slightly. Maybe that's what's causing the PC to be freaking unstable, but uh, it's mainly just Adobe Premiere. Uh, it's mainly just Adobe Premiere. The PC is fine, on the other hand, unless I try to shut down the blue screen sometimes, but that's besides the point. Uh, <laughs> I might have to dial down the overclock a bit, but yeah. Reinstalling Windows today, hopefully gonna resolve a lot of the issues I've been having on the OS. Anyway, whilst all these files have been moved over to the other drive, let's go on to the Windows 10 Media Creation tool. You can download it, it's all free. You can download Windows 10 for free and install it. Isn't that crazy? Uh, so we got the Media Creation tool right here, dude. Now, you are gonna need a USB drive, which I completely forgot about. So let me find one. <laughs> there we go. Found the USB drive and Windows is trying to do stuff. Okay, uh, all the files have been moved. That's good. Now the Media Creation tool is like getting a few things ready. Okay, cool. Uh, Let's plug this USB drive into the back of the PC so that, you know, we can put Windows on there. I hope that that's a USB 3.0 port I just plugged the drive into, because that's gonna, you know, speed up the whole process here. All uh, right, we're gonna accept the terms and conditions. Of course we are. Wait, did, do you have to scroll down to accept the stuff? Maybe. 
Uh, getting a few things ready, apparently. Wait a minute, I have Windows on here already. Uh, oh, whatever. Let's just install it onto the USB drive again. Why not? There we go, drive E, that is correct. Now, I wonder if it's gonna be like, I found all your Windows files, or is it, is it, is it gonna wipe the drive? <laughs> we'll find out, dude. Right, so it, I think it's just gonna re-download Windows again. <laughs> We've downloaded Windows 10. We're now creating the installation media. I'm also cooking some chicken now. As, uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. We're gonna make some burgers, dude. I am really hungry. I've not ate in like, I don't know, six hours, maybe more. I need food. And I also need a fresh OS. That'll be good. <laughs> Your USB drive is ready. Oh yeah, dude. Finish. Huh? Cleaning up. Are we good? No, no issues? Right, so we've downloaded Windows. It's all good, man. Now we need GVG Mall to hook us up with a nice Windows 10 license key. Okay, so we're on the GVG Mall website. This video is sponsored by them, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so we're gonna be buying ourselves a nice Windows 10 license key from them. Now, you got a bunch of choices, of course. You got your Windows 10 Home, OEM CD Key Global. It's a, a whopping $13.87. Now I'm sure you're like, damn dude, you can get Windows for $13? Yes, you can, but you can get it for even cheaper if you use the code TBW. That'll get you an extra 20% off any software, any bit of software on their website. So GVG Mall sell Office, they sell Windows keys. You know, you got your Home, you got your Pro, you got your LTSC, which is like a lightweight version of Windows. It's pretty cool. And then, you know, Office, if you want to get Office for your PC as well, dude. GVG Mall also sell games. So if you go on the website and uh, you want to buy some sick games, dude, you can use code TBG to get yourself 3% off any of the game keys on the website. Pretty dope stuff. You can get Battlefield 5 if you want to. And you know, maybe play a game with me. But yeah, they got games, they got software, they have it all, dude. So, the Windows we're gonna be buying today is Windows 10 Pro, all right? I'm gonna press buy now, sign in, of course, because there we go, I've signed in, dude. And I apparently have $109 in my basket. Let's remove Battlefield 5 and Red Dead Redemption. Come on, dude. There we go. Buy now. Sick, right? This is where you apply the discount code, boys. You do TBW, yeah, it's $15. You apply the discount code. Boom, it's going to be around 1226. That is what you want. That is what you want. Now, these Windows 10 license keys from them are 100% legit. They're real. They work. I've been using their license keys for Windows for a very long time now. And I can honestly say they work. There's no issues. It's very simple. They accept PayPal, Skrill, Mint, Alipay. There's loads of payment methods to choose from. So I'm going to go with PayPal, of course, because that's just, you know, PayPal just makes life easy. Alrighty, so in total we're paying $12.92. There's a little bit of a charge using PayPal. And then, you know, that's £10.28p in pounds instead of dollars, you know? Boom, let's press continue. Also, you have a timer don't know if you can hear that. My chicken's ready. Right, uh, okay. Order has been created successfully. Your payment method has been submitted. Hello, this is GVG Mall. They've emailed me. They're gonna be like, yo, uh, your key's ready, dog." There's our Windows 10 key. Of course, I'm gonna blur it because I don't want you guys to freaking steal it off me. So yeah, just a really simple process to buy some Windows 10 license key. And uh, I will show you that it is legit later on in the video because we're gonna, you know, install it, reinstall Windows, and I'm gonna show you that the key's activated and it's all good. Like you're not gonna have a freaking activate Windows watermark in the corner of your desktop. And just before we turn this website off, I'm gonna take a photo of the key on my phone just so I know what the license key actually is. And it kind of just makes life easier when activating Windows in general. Uh, so when we reinstall Windows, we're gonna type this key in and it's all gonna be good, man. Right, without further ado, I guess, let's shut the PC down. Goodbye, you broken OS. Hopefully we're gonna resolve it all by reinstalling it now. Damn, the PC shuts down so much faster with these new NVMe drives from XPG, it's nuts. Uh, right, I mean, the drive's still in the PC. Let's smash delete, dude. We're gonna hop into BIOS, reorder the whole boot order. Reorder the boot order. Yeah, that's the, that's the one, eh? All right, we need boot. Uh, number one shall be the SanDisk thing. Cool. Now, as the PC boots up, it should take us straight to the uh, whole Windows 10 installation media thing uh, that we've set up on that USB drive. Windows looks really weird on an ultra wide because it's not really made for like an ultra wide, you know, 21 by nine screen. Uh, we're gonna press install now, my guy. Setup is starting. I'm sure most of you are very familiar with this screen if you have installed Windows on a PC before. If you haven't, this is what you gotta go through. Right, so over here it says activate Windows. Let's type out a key in and get Windows activated. Okay, I'm gonna press next. Now we're gonna do custom install as we kinda wanna reset. 
you know, the, the old C drive, not the YouTube drive. If we reset that one, I'm going to cry. Right, let's delete this partition here, partition four. This is the C disk, I hope. <laughs> delete partition three, delete partition two, and delete partition one recovery. Now we have drive one, unallocated space. So we're gonna press new. And you know, it's gonna set it to like the max capacity. You're gonna press apply. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it appears we've ran into a bit of an issue when it comes to formatting the drives. Right, I've moved the USB drive to a USB 2.0 port instead of a USB 3.0 port. Uh, now and again, Windows can kind of freak out and uh, the drive for some reason doesn't work with a USB 3.0 port every now and again. As we have moved the drive around, I'm gonna make sure that it's still in the correct boot order. So let's hop into BIOS. I mean, oh, we could do a UEFI stand disk. That might be better. Right, dude, hopefully I typed that in correctly. If I did, it's gonna be all good. And it's gonna say, well, it's just gonna continue on. And then I'll show you in Windows that it is actually activated, but that key did go through, no problem whatsoever. Let's accept the terms and conditions, custom. So this is what Windows should spit out. You know, you got driver one, partition one recovery, partition two, partition three, and four. Uh, generally, I think four is gonna be the one you're gonna be installing Windows on. Uh, that'll be the one with the biggest capacity. In this case, uh, one terabyte or 953.3 gigabytes. Dude, let's press next. There you go, we're copying files. Now, I think this is a USB 2.0 port. Uh, so things may be a little bit slower than usual. Uh, ideally, you know, you want USB 3.0, it's uh, quite a bit faster. Oh, apparently it's already copied the Windows files. Maybe I didn't even plug it into a USB 2.0 port. I don't know. I plugged it into a different port. It might be USB 3.0, it might be USB 2.0. All that matters is that Windows is reinstalled and uh, the license key is all good. <laughs> the PC has recited a few times now. Oh, just a moment. PC ready for all you plan to do. No, Cortana, please. We've been through this before. Keep your computer in. No, 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 no. I'm gonna mute everything. This is the right keyboard layout? Yes, it is. Do you wanna add a second keyboard? Hell no. Network? All right. We're not on Wi-Fi. It's all, it's all Ethernet, dude. Now let's see what's new from Windows. What should give me like some corrupted Windows updates that just break the whole PC again? Make Cortana your personal assistant. I don't know how many times I have to tell you no. Do more across. Oh my God, this is so weird reading freaking like stretched out text on an ultra wide. This is just wrong. I use online speech recognition. Please no, I just, I don't want any of this. No, no, <laughs> we just need a few more things polished up and Windows will be yours and it's done. <laughs> We're getting everything ready for you. I don't think it's gonna take long unless it's downloading stuff for Windows, uh, then this might be a little bit lengthy. Uh, but if it's not downloading anything, this is gonna set up Windows like really, really fast. Like we're gonna be up and running probably in a few minutes. Isn't that beautiful? We got Edge. It's all stretched, Asus Grid, Auto Update Manager. Let's install that, that could be useful. Also, these two monitors are very much uh, not working. <laughs> what we need is some NVIDIA display drivers. And then uh, I'm pretty sure NVIDIA is probably trying to download some drivers for me, or Windows is. So uh, the display drivers will kind of sort themselves out. If they don't, uh, we're gonna have to download GeForce Experience ourselves. Even the Asus Grid thing is beyond broken. <laughs> what resolution are we running at? This looks absolutely stupid. 1024 by 768. Can I switch to 1080p? Oh, brilliant. That, that looks a little bit better. Right, the bit of software that I wanted to show you is called Ninite. Now, it's kind of like a website that you can download a bunch of essential programs for Windows, basically, all in like one package, and it installs them all for you, downloads them all for you. It's really, really useful. So link in the description to these guys, not sponsored by them, but it's just a really useful bit of software to help you get started up on Windows a little bit faster when you reinstall your OS. Oh, we got some display drivers. What's going on? Or oh, has like my monitor or my graphics card just like given up? <laughs> oh, that monitor's on. That monitor's on. Come on, please, dude, don't let me down. <laughs> It's like, only these two work now. The middle ones, it's no longer functioning. <laughs> what is this, man? What is this? Hey, the middle one's back. And that one's back. And all the monitors are good, man. It's all good. And then basically whatever you tick here is gonna all compile into like one custom installer. And so you're gonna press get your Ninite and it's gonna be all good, man. It's gonna install all the software you chose. Uh, Razer, Chroma, that's already like, yo, dude, you got a bunch of Razer gear? You want, you want Razer Synapse? Yes, please. Just a lovely bit of software. Just makes your life easier. Instead of going to all those individual websites and downloading each installer and installing it one by one, Ninite here will make your life easy and install all of the things you want 
all in one go. Uh, Chrome, okay, all the way up to VLC, okay. It's currently downloading Discord, now installing Discord, downloading Skype, and then all these things here, it's currently waiting to download. Right, so pretty much like settled into the OS now. It's so the next day I've downloaded all the Adobe programs. So far, I've edited like the majority of this video and the PC hasn't blue screened once, which is quite the improvement. And on top of that, uh, Adobe Premiere didn't even crash once either. So, so far, very happy. I think we have resolved the issues by reinstalling the OS. Now, as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, I am going to be talking about the differences between a retail key as well as an OEM key, as uh, there are actually some differences and I'm going to show you how to check what key we received, as that is kind of important to know. Right, so on their website, the key that we bought was the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM. Now, there is quite a big difference between OEM and retail. Now, whether you get an OEM key or a retail key will not affect like the day-to-day -day usability of Windows. You'll still get the updates, you'll still get all the features. Windows will function the exact same on both a retail key and an OEM key. Where the difference is, is a retail key will allow you to change hardware in your system. So if you know, you change your graphics card, your motherboard, your CPU, Windows will stay activated no matter what. Whereas an OEM key, you're gonna have to activate Windows again if you start swapping some hardware in your system. Now as for the OEM version, whatever hardware you have at the time of activating Windows, you're gonna have to stay with that hardware. Uh, if you start changing things out, like you know, a graphics card or a CPU or your motherboard, you're gonna have to reactivate Windows and buy some new key. And there's also one other type of key, like a pirate key or like a volume key. Uh, those you kinda wanna stay away from as they're generally kind of like made for organizations and those keys can expire and they're, they're generally not good. Now, how do you actually check what key we received? Did we get a retail key or did we get an OEM key? Uh, we can find that out really, really easily. I've opened up command prompt here in administrator mode and I'm gonna type in slmgr space minus dli. Hit enter. So we have Windows 10 Professional, that is correct. Retail channel, that is what you want. So, so the key that GVG Mall have given us is pretty much the best key you can get. I can change hardware in the system and the OS will still stay activated. Whereas if you buy uh, very, very cheap keys from eBay, there's a good chance it's gonna be like a pirate key or like a volume key. That's not really made to be used in you know a normal system like a gaming PC or whatever that you may be swapping hardware in. Uh, those keys can expire and they may not support hardware changes. So in our case, we got a really good key from GVG Mall. But apart from that though, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you wanna go check out GVG Mall, links are down below in the description as always, as they have sponsored this video, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.